she did the toast so well that the devil is now roasted. Amen. Oh, in terms that bind demons and I've never heard that and put them in their places. Amen. Now we shall proceed with more of this. But we want to call um, Mr. Luceni Brewer, first son. In fact, he, he, just, he just begged me, please don't say what you want to say. Because I have so much to say. But I will, I will agree. Thank you, thank you, Robinson. Uh, <coughs> praise God, first of all. Uh, I wasn't prepared for this. Came back from holiday, had no sleep last night, up and down the whole day, off today. And, um, but anyway, she's my mom. There's something I need to say. We love you, mom. You have been the pillar, strong pillar, over us, all your sons. When things weren't so good, you were there. When things were very good, you were still there. Even when I was growing up at the age of um, 13, when I will walk a few steps ahead of you because my friends were around and did not want us to be seen together anymore because your mom and I were sat <coughs> there. And, but you've always been there. When things were rough, you were there and you still are here. And you're a people person. Left to me, there will be no one here today because I would have postponed it to when it was convenient, whenever that was. But for you, you always like throw people onto yourself. And there's so many people that are here because of you, not because of me or for Mulai or anybody else, but for you. And thank God that you, you've actually brought people together. And we love you, Mom. Love you very much. We hope you can stay forever with us. Uh, <coughs> <laughs> but uh, we might get too old as well. And uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you, Chris God. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Brewer. All right, we'll play that after the other one. But this guy I'm going to call him. I have a boat to pick with him. While we were going to school, I was going to one of the best schools, and he was going to another best school. And in sports, this man always makes sure our school comes second. Because he's so fast on the track. Without drugs. <laughs> he was so fast. He's a track and field man. And uh, he has traveled, you know, in his skill that God has given to him. Now we now welcome Django. See you on here today, and may God bless each and every one of you that's taking your time to come and celebrate with our uh, mom's birthday. Um, what do I have to say about my mom? She is a hero. She is a warrior. She brought up three young guys at that time who were very naughty, even a hard time, each and every single day. But she stood the ground. Everyone knows about Superman. But for me, my mom is a superwoman. Because what she's done, she brought us up with respect to respect our elders and also discipline, how to behave, how to talk, how to do everything. And also she always taught us to put God first. So because of that, I'm always grateful to her for what she's done in our life. Even without a dad in our life, she brought us up with the mentality that you can never give up. Whatever you do, try and do your best. Go to school. Try to finish your school and whatever you do, do your best to achieve it. She's been that our figure, our inspirational figure. It's not just because she's my mom, I'm sure there are a lot of you here who know her will testify to that as well. So I give thanks to God for her life, her birthday, birthday, and I pray that she'll have many more in the name of Jesus. Alright, sweet mother. Uh, we have now the pleasure of calling uh, Mr. Brother James to give it a tribute to Grandma. Bonsoir. 
bonsoir, grand -mère. Bonsoir à l'Assemblée. Bonsoir. Uh, you heard that she went to France, you know. You can't come out today without speaking French. Yes. Je voudrais d'abord uh, vous remercier pour uh, nous avoir invités et surtout votre présence. Ça nous a toujours fait du bien et vos conseils. Je sais que Dieu qui a permis à ce que nous puissions avoir sur 90 ans et nous puissions se prendre. Pardon Et je parle très fort <rire> Que Dieu vous bénisse richement. Now, I know some of you are lost. Let me bring you back. So what I was trying to tell uh, our grandma, our mother, is that uh, since we, we know her in our church, it's only today I got to know the question my wife and I were asking any time She will speak to us when we go home. She said, what the background of this um, lady? Always we will be asking. And this, today we find the answer that she has been in the foreign uh, affair, foreign ministry. Why I'm, asked, I'm saying this is simply because anytime she will see me, she says, son, I know where you are going and I know you will make it. And she will give me specific advice about where I'm going. For the people who know where I'm going, they understand exactly what I'm saying. And uh, it has been, you know, been asking ourselves what study or what kind of uh, school or what kind of background now we know. And I understand that you are tired, uh, retired, but I'm telling you, you have to work in Congo. Even if you are finishing Sada Leon, you go show in Congo because you still look fresh and we pray that God will keep you long so that we will enjoy you more. Tonight, we are happy to celebrate with you. You know, you told us that you are sorry because you are late and I told you, it is your day. You can keep us as long as you want. God bless you. Thank you. That was good. You know, French is a very wonderful language. I studied French for I call it year one to year three. And there was a fellow called Rashidi. I love French, but he hates French. And he, did, he hates French with passion. Miss Kamara was our French teacher. And this woman always called us, you know, to make examples. And then he called um, Rashidi. You know, we do stage performance and so forth. And we have to take part. He asked, Rashidi, who hates you? He took that as an opportunity because she, he hated Miss Kamara. Rashidi, who hates you? He said, yes, Mademoiselle hates me. Yes, so you might not face off our position with Rashidi. Now we want to invite Vivian Tucker to give a contribution. Good evening everybody. Yes. I was just told earlier on that my name had been put down to give a contribution. And I said there was no need. Even if my name has not been put down, I would be given a contribution to it. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to introduce you, myself, to you one more time. My name is Vivian Toker. My mother and dad are Melvin and our Toker. And I've got brothers, Cecil, Hudson, sisters, Melvina and Hyo. I need to introduce myself to you because I do not think I have ever been introduced to everybody who knows Auntie Mame before in this way, formally, as I am a child of that family. My family is a child of that family. You do not have to be born relatives to become families of all the people you meet. You just get to them and they accept you and you accept them and that's all there is to it. You become families. Well, this family, 
Ruseni. You call him Ruseni, I call him Pwendo. <laughs> yes, right. We met when we were very young. I think I was, we were all in primary school or so. I was the eldest. I was six. Yeah, okay. <laughs> We lived, we met on the same road. In fact, I will tell you, I think we met over a fight. I can still remember what happened on that road. We met and we really went into fisticuffs. Yes, I can still remember vividly. But guess what? After that, we became inseparable. We lived as one family. It was either we at their house or they at our house. They took us to everywhere they went and they went with us everywhere we went. There was no way it was like we were all inseparable. They used to have free tickets to go to the Stan Cinema every Saturday and Sunday in those days. Whoa, we did get fun, we did benefit from them, I won't lie to you. Yes, and we would go to the cinema and stand and they thought we were brothers because we have the same skin tone. People just felt we were one family and we were one, we were brothers. That's how we came to know Auntie Mame and not just call her Auntie Mame because she's everybody calls Auntie, but she's a true Auntie to us. She's been there, she's accepted us, she's been there for us. We are one family and I just felt Everybody in this room today should know that there is a family called the Toka family who is a family to Auntie Mame and Kwembu. We have been family and we will continue being family. They are such a wonderful family, lovely people. You never get tired of being around there. There is no way that Kwembu and I will ever stop seeing each other as family. So I want to say to you today, let us stand and get the toast to Auntie Mame on her 80th birthday, she was never going to get old, so do not worry. She hasn't got time to think old, so she will not get old. We'll have her for another 20 years. We'll start making a record for Sierra Leone now. It's not all the countries that should be saved on the years. We will say it to Auntie Mame. Let us stand and give a toast to her, everybody. Please let us stand. Let us stand. Today is a day and we will honor her on this yeah. day. <laughs> and Timame, God bless you. We love you so much. To the great Auntie Mame on our 80th birthday. Everybody, cheers. Yeah. Let us Thank you. 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 Alright, he said he had a fight. That was still with me. We, we, no, we leave the winning. <laughs> we had a teacher. They say school days are the best. School days are the best, aren't they? Yes, we had a teacher who was very good in English. Two boys were fighting. And he just told them, fight your faults, but don't step on my Kobo Kobo Garden. All right. Now we have we have heard from the the sons and friends. We want to hear from the grandkids. We now invite Louise and Enid. Just say a word of a grammar. Yes. relationship with you and yeah we have our ups and downs sometimes sometimes we are you, <laughs> but you always buy us crisps and stuff and this way you end that so yeah this will see that we love you
with us against our parents and you know she always there to give us money when our parents won't give us and she's always there to make me smile even when sometimes I'm really grumpy and and I'll always hold your hand grandma up the stairs and take you shopping and anytime you call me I'll be there because I love you wonderful that's great Amen. It's a privilege to have a grandmother. You know, most of us don't have those people around. But it's a privilege, it's an opportunity, so make the best use of it. You know, she's strong, she can advise you, and um, she knows better. All right? Now, after all this has been said, we now want to invite the celebrant tonight. The 